few hours into our second day of the jungle trek, we came upon a small village full of animals running about. Dogs, chickens, cows, and pigs could be found amidst the straw huts, which were raised above the ground on stilts. The Karen Hill tribe inhabit this village, and many others like it throughout northern Thailand. Most Karen people came to Thailand from Burma as they fled persecution. Their origins are shrouded in mystery, although some believe their roots trace back thousands of years to Tibet in the southern Gobi Desert. The women in the village weave colorful scarves, which they display for passing hikers to browse, and they take to markets in bigger towns in Chiang Mai City. Not surprisingly, they were a little excited at the business prospects our group brought in, and it seemed like the entire village gathered around to help Rachel choose a few scarves. Although the Karen people speak a different language and are from a different cultural background, they are welcomed in Thailand, where they live a simple, peaceful life. During our short visit, we spotted women working and children playing or reading a book with grandma. Continuing on our hike, we had to practice our balance across tree bridges, and then we stopped for lunch. This is how you have your lunch to go when you're jungle trekking in Chiang Mai, Thailand. The noodles wrapped in a big leaf. Now we just unwrap the leaf. Voila, we have lunch. Being the handyman that he is, Book set out to carve up some chopsticks. We got some chopsticks made from a plant. Delicious. At the next site of rushing water, we got a chance to cool off and take a dip. Then we were back on our way, with some more makeshift bridges to cross. <laughs> Eventually, we made two new, massive friends. Rachel even got a chance to feed them bananas. <laughs> I'm trying to give one to this guy. Their keepers unloaded a truck full of grass, which was supposed to be for dinner later. But this guy just couldn't help but grab a quick appetizer. <laughs> they were taking some alternative transportation here today, outside of Chiang Mai in the jungle. With three of us on one elephant, I was stuck riding on Dumbo's neck. It was a long and slow ride, with plenty of pit stops for more snacks. Like, and then she's like, make comments to me. Like, mm -hmm. Clearly, their keepers are much more natural elephant riders than we were. This guy even got his elephant to sit down on command. Pretty impressive. Our last stop for the day was this waterfall, where we had the chance to jump in. We hit the small jump first with books schooling us on proper diving techniques. Us guys tried to work up the courage to hit the big jump, while Book made it look easy. Finally, Daniel took the plunge. Then it was my turn. And thus our three days out in the Thai jungle came to an end. The experience of a lifetime and the highlight of our one month in Thailand.